days, it was a great game. One more to win, and we could really celebrate. Yeah, what we do, we win that trip to New York. Yeah! yeah. <laughs> and I'll finally get to see cats. <laughs> what? Can her brother like a cat? Mary Beth, did you get the scouting report on uh, Raleigh Raiders? Yep. Their uniforms are so last season. The important stuff, please. Oh, they're this sort of pukey yellow. They're really queer. <laughs> Give me that. Well, they aren't too big, except for one guy. Guards are good shooters. Hey, Raleigh is coached by Rick Mueller. Hey, I had an uncle named Rick Mueller. <laughs> he always made a clicking noise when he ate. <laughs> Rick Mueller was my assistant back in Houston. Jeez, we haven't talked in years. I bet he's staying at a hotel. You should look him up. You bet I will. And the first thing I'm going to tell him is how bad we're going to be this team in the finals. Yeah! Hey, can you hold the elevator, please? Thanks. Uh, what floor do you need? 14, but I can reach. I hope you're not in a hurry. These elevators are slow. Well, it's a lot quicker than using the stairs. Unless, of course, I'm going down. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. You should be a stand-up comedian. <laughs> I mean a sit-down comedian. Rico, what? I'm trying to talk to the guy, okay? It's not my fault. He's in a wheelchair. <laughs> Guys, it's okay. Could you just step back a little so the door can close? Here you go. Thanks, but we didn't order those. They're from the gentleman over there. That's no gentleman. That's a no good, lying, meanie, pretender feelings herder. Send them back. Christy, they're free. Live it up. No, we're not accepting anything from rude boy. Well, you know, can I at least keep the little umbrella? Cause I'm... No! Oh. Christy, what's with you? How can you still be mad at Antonio? He totally embarrassed me by making me think he couldn't speak English. I made a fool out of myself trying to make him feel welcome in this country. Excuse me. You ladies look thirsty. Sorry, this is a jerk-free zone. <laughs> can I... Can you slip me an umbrella? Christy, what do I have to do to apologize? Nothing, because I can't hear you. La, 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 la. I'm sorry. Hey, guys. You see my friend Rick? Good looking guy, about six foot. Is this Rick guy one of those really cool, slick Pat Rowley type coaches, or is he one of those dorky coaches that always wear the shirts that say coach on <laughs> You know, real dorks. Uh, um. Well, I meant, uh, uh, a little help here, man, please? Don't look, don't look at me. It's not my foot in your mouth. <laughs> anyway, Rick's a great guy. I mean, a real practical joker. Mike? <laughs> Mike, is that you? Rick! How you doing? <laughs> what are you doing in the chair? Ah, oh, still the big practical joker, huh? <laughs> not exactly. Coach, <laughs> I don't think he's joking. Come on, the joke's over. I am not pushing you around all day. Stand up, you knucklehead. Hey, I wish I could. Coach, we saw him before. I don't think he's kidding. Yeah, I'm afraid this is the real deal. Oh, jeez. Rick, I had no idea. We got a lot of catching up to do. Excuse me. Step aside. Man in the chair, coming through. <laughs> Mike, you don't have to announce it to everybody. Most people figure it out after I roll over their toes. Sorry, I'm just not used to being around someone in a wheelchair. Well, you don't have to apologize. Just remember, I'm a normal person and forget about the chair. You got it. I'm forgetting about the chair. Huh? What chair? I don't even see a chair. No chair. How many? One in a wheelchair. <laughs> uh, two, please. Sorry. And stop being sorry. Right. Sorry. Oh. So, uh, is it okay if I ask how what happened? Well, after I left Houston, I went off to coach in Italy. You know the Leaning Tower of Pisa? You fell off the Leaning Tower of Pisa? No, although that would have made a great story. I, I got into a car wreck right near it. Why didn't you let me know? Well, I started letting people know, but then I got sick of people feeling sorry for me. Oh, sorry. Mike. Sorry. 
anyway, I'm having fun coaching at Raleigh, but it's been tough. Most teams wouldn't even consider someone in a wheelchair. That stinks. Yeah, but at least the Raleigh job is one step closer to getting back into the pros. If you want, I can make some calls for you. Oh, that'd be great. But don't do it because of this. Do it because you know I can handle it. Okay, that's fair. Uh, hey, buddy, I'll be right back, right? You need some help? Where are you going? To sign up for line dancing. What? <laughs> Bathroom. <laughs> but don't worry. I can go all by myself. Hey, guys. Do you know where Christy is? Well, we have been instructed to tell you that she moved to Alaska to become an Eskimo wife. Too bad. I want to give this to her as a peace offering. It's really pretty. What is it? It's a rare cactus plant that only blooms once every ten years. Every ten years? Wow. Julie! I didn't even know you. Oh, look, there's Christy. Let's go so they can talk. Christy, wait up. Wait a second. Okay. Time's up. Bye. All right, give me a minute and I'll never bother you again. Fine. You got one minute to prove your point. Oh. Ow! Do you have to scream that loud? Mary Beth, you're plucking cactus needles out of my butt. What do you want me to do? <laughs> What's so funny? You sat on a cactus. <laughs> I wouldn't ow, have if I never ow met Antonio. Oh. He was just trying to apologize. You should give him a chance. He's really trying to make it up to you. Yeah, you were the one that said he was different from all the guys back home. and You liked that. Yeah, well, that was before he turned my tush into a spaghetti strainer. <laughs> so if you don't mind, I don't want to hear another thing about Antonio. Fine, you got it. Yep, we're button out. <laughs> but we really think you should turn the other cheek. <laughs> yeah, you should just put it behind you. It's not funny. Ow! Okay, it is. Excuse me. Any messages for the presidential suite? Nope. How do you know? You didn't check. Listen, if Air Force One calls, I'll be sure and patch it through. Hey, Coach. These guys been looking for you. Jim, how you doing? I didn't know you were here. Really? I left a message at the front desk. Coming! Look, if you're trying to recruit me to coach your college, <laughs> I'll have to pass. I'm happy where I'm at. Actually, I'm here to check out your old assistant coach, Rick Mueller. Rick? That's great. So, is he any good? He's terrific. Smart, loves the game, extremely dedicated. I think he's a good choice. I'd love to see something good happen to Rick. He's gone through a lot. He deserves it. Well, let's see how Rick and his team do at the finals. We just might have something opening up for him at the college. That'd be perfect. But I guess I shouldn't be telling you that, since your team's the roadblock. <laughs> well, see you at the game. Guess it doesn't look too good for Rick. Why not? Coach, we're favored to run Raleigh into the ground. Yep, and unless Rick knows any magic tricks, they ain't winning that game. Looks like he can kiss that job goodbye. Yeah, sure looks like it. Okay, let me do it again. Keep this up, we're beating Raleigh in the finals and heading to That's New right. York. <laughs> Yo, set up three. All right, bring it in. How's it looking? Like, oh, great. Everybody's clicking, hitting their shots. Do you want us to keep working the scrimmage or working the defense? Actually, I thought we'd uh, give the rest of our practice time to Rick and his team. To Raleigh? Why? They're the competition. Yeah, and we still have an hour left. Quiet. It's nice outside. Excuse us, Rick. Come on. Come here. Look, guys, I know we have time left, but Rick's under a lot of pressure, and I'd like to help him out. But, Coach, we are totally dedicated to being the best we can be. And that won't happen by cutting down practice time. Save it, Silk. It's saved. We're gone. Bye-bye. <laughs> 